everyone and thanks for joining me again on Tasha's City Engine show. I was really overwhelmed with the response from the first episode and I really hope that this episode uh, lives up to the expectations. Please remember that this is your show so I really would like to hear from you on any channels that uh, you can possibly reach me on. Um, with things like your user stories or questions that you might have about City Engine, things like that. So, hope you enjoy the show. My user story of the week was emailed to me by Shubham Bhatia. Uh, he, for his master thesis, wanted to work out the potential of solar energy. And he mentioned that most of the methods that seem to be used to work out uh, solar energy potential were more in the 2D space. So he wanted to look at this on a 3D level. The results then showed information about which rooftops would be most suitable for the installation of solar panels. My news of the week is that we released City Engine. So City Engine 2019.1 is now available to download everywhere. Uh, so if you're an existing Esri customer, then go to My Esri and um, yes, download the newest version. And if you're a new customer or a potential new customer, uh, then you can go and download a free trial. The rest of my Zurich colleagues have been busy too with the ArcGIS API for JavaScript and the Scene Viewer team releasing pretty much at the same time as we released City Engine. They've also made some huge improvements. Um, one of my favorites is the rendering improvements and the lighting improvements that they've made. So you should definitely go and check that out too. Zurich is fast becoming one of Europe's biggest technical hubs with Microsoft opening up an R&D office here in Zurich just last week and um, yeah we're really looking forward to working closely with them um, on some projects with the HoloLens too. My rule of the week are guardrails. No highway or freeway would be complete without them and so we've got you covered. We're getting quite a few questions on GeoNet about City Engine and Unity. So I think most of you know by now that uh, we work quite closely together with Epic Games, who are the makers of Unreal Engine, but that doesn't mean that we don't have workflows that work with Unity as well. In fact, we work closely with the Unity team um, also on improving uh, workflows and um, making things better and more useful for you. Uh, so you can absolutely take your City Engine models and put them into Unity. The way this works is by using the FBX exporter. Just select your model and choose Export Models from the drop-down menu and select FBX. Please make sure you've selected Center under Global Offset in the Geometry settings and then this will make sure that the origin of your models will be where it should be when you import them into Unity. If you'd like me to answer your questions in a future episode, then just ask a question on social media using the hashtag CityEngineers or ask a question on Jim. Thanks for joining me again on Tasha's City Engine Show. You can find the links to everything that I've talked about today in the description box below. And um, yep, yeah, so t-shirts, if you want to send me a t-shirt, uh, then feel free to do so by posting it to the following address that I'm going to post here somewhere in the frame. See you next week. Bye. I really hope that this second... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Uh, so I really hope that this second e e oh, God, second, second episode, second, second, second episode. Really hope that this second, this second episode, this second episode. My user story of the week was emailed me from. Blah. My user story of the week was emailed me. Emailed me. It, who says that? Emailed to me. The results then showed which route roof, roof the rest of
of our Zurich colleagues have been busy too, and they also just released a new version of the JS API. That's, what is it actually called? And um, fast becoming one of Europe's biggest technical. Oh, I'm really closely with them. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, no.